Another piece of equipment here for screening. Horse racing fans should have nothing to worry about when it comes to an even playing field. Thanks to this multi-million dollar testing facility located in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Led by Dr. Cornelius Ubo, the Pennsylvania Equine Toxicology and Research Lab is one of the top labs in the United States. This state-of-the-art facility is responsible for the screening of horse, human urine, and blood samples, making sure there are no foreign substances present. It's all about the integrity of the sport. Integrity is one of the uh, uh, things that uh, drives the industry. Uh, to maintain that integrity, drug testing must stand at the forefront of whatever the Commission tries to do because that's where the Commission can provide a level playing field to all participants. Drug testing is very important. Drug use in horse racing is not as bad as it is in, uh, say, the Olympics. Believe me that drug testing is far more regulated in the racing industry than it is in the Olympics with human athletes. So the aim is to continue to enforce it and to do it very well so that the message gets around. Every racetrack in the state of Pennsylvania sends their samples to this facility. We receive the samples here and I want you to understand that when the samples arrive here we don't know who the trainer is. We don't know the name of the horse, so we're absolutely neutral. We take the sample, and the issue is that anything that is not produced by the horse should not be present in the horse at the time the horse is racing. So we're looking at an entire package. All the drugs in the world there could be in that horse, so we have to look for them. And that's the greatest challenge that we face every day. A research team of 20 tests about 50,000 samples a year, and the number is growing as more tracks begin racing. It's not easy to stay ahead of the game. Technology. The Commission must be willing at any time to spend the right amount of money to bring in the right technology so that we can challenge what is in front of us. And I must say that the Commission does a very good job in terms of that. Pennsylvania leads the way when it comes to their anti-drug policies, testing, and enforcement. And thanks to the efforts here and racetracks around the state, it's working. Pennsylvania is leading in terms of uh, anabolic steroids. It's leading the rest of the country. The first state to enforce the use of anabolic steroids in race horses. And Pennsylvania is doing it because the Commission wanted to make sure that it is done. The horsemen asked for a level playing field and they're getting it. The Pennsylvania racing community is proud they have taken the lead nationally when it comes to maintaining the integrity of the sport, guarding the health of the horses, and safeguarding the interest of the betting public. It's hard work, but well worth the endeavor. I'm very, very proud of the excellent level of job that is performed by the Commission in terms of uh, their neutrality and that uh, a level playing field is provided to all participants. And that is very important. The racing industry is not as bad as it is perceived to be. So the number of positives is less than 0.1%. So the Commission does a very good job and I'm very proud to be part of that team.